Hi, teacher. Mm. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Uh, so, so, <laughs> um, I, I will be only listening because I am driving right now to, to my home. Okay. No problem. Thank you for telling me, Anna. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Hello, Carla, Rudy, and Byron. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. How was your day? Very busy at work. Oh. In my case. That's good, Rudy. The day, like, flash. <laughs> no, I just turned off the computer, like, 50 minutes ago. <laughs> so that's good or bad? I think it's good because I'm learning, but it's bad because I'm not <clears throat> I'm not resting. Uh, because only from one to the other, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of work today then. A lot of work. Okay, okay. And how about you, Carlita? How are you doing? Um, my day was very busy, teacher, but it went very quickly. Ah, okay. It, it normally happens, right? When you're not like Rudy, but normally if you have a lot of activities, you don't feel the day finished and you say, wow, already is complete. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Byron, how about you? How are you feeling? Hi, teacher. A little stress. <laughs> Why a little stress? Uh, since uh, before the one uh, one hour before I have the first partial for the summer college, but mm -hmm. the the leak was uh, issues with the internet once again. Mm. And all the people was angry because she never opened the partial in the platform. Mm -hmm. And right now she only sent us the images of the WhatsApp group for for um, made the exam. And we have uh, at 11 today to complete the, the exam. And also I went to the site because I work from home, mm -hmm. but today I have a refresher about uh, one process of we, that we made, right? Okay. And we, 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 we went to the site to receive this refresher today. Mm -hmm. Ah, and also Christian maybe uh, can be unable to, uh, to join the class today because he was crashed but by, by a bus uh, really? on Monday. Yes, and he is uh, bad right now. Uh, I I I went with him to to the site today, mm -hmm. but he feels bad. He feels so bad because the he he had pain in all the body, in her arms, in his arms. Sorry. And he told me that maybe after the uh, before no after the refresher he he will go uh, to his house because or, or maybe to the east mm -hmm. to check if if he maybe have some problems with her with his his arm because how he tell me he told me sorry uh, the pain was so hard. Wow. I'm surprised yes. he went to the refresher because if he was had a, an accident, I I would think the first is to go to the to the doctor yes. in the hospital. Yes, uh, or or supply or lead uh, try to uh, send uh, tell tell him or tell him sorry, mm -hmm. tell him about uh, he needs to go to the east, but he insists that he wants uh, receive the refresher and then he will go to the east. Okay. Well, sometimes yes. Mhm. Mm it it happens, right? It's a little bit weird, but okay. I you know, I, for me if you have an accident, 
first go 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 to the doctor yes. and, and then take care of the other things mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's funny because i check right now the whatsapp group or the or the the university right yeah and all the people is so angry with the league of course of course <laughs> yes. it's, it's not it's not professional not to is is better to cancel or to change the date or yes we try to we try this option with with her but she insists that we need to complete today this exam and but i think that the the better way is maybe do this tomorrow right exactly exactly maybe she's i don't know maybe they don't have a plan b i think that's mm. the problem is, yeah the problem is that yes i i think the same mm -hmm. yeah and sometimes it happens many places they don't have uh you know uh, a plan of what's going to happen or what's going to go on if they can't connect or if there's technical problems or something like that mm -hmm. yes we all the people mm, thinks that maybe is the internet because she always had the same problem in the meetings mm -hmm. and she tried to provide us the information by a uh, message in uh, into the 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 team's meeting right mm -hmm. but all the people was angry and she was out of the of the meeting <laughs> and she tried to provide us the information in the whatsapp group but yes we need complete the, this information for today yeah you yes, are this the is same you are the same class to me. I don't know, Anna. You have a you study in the Utec University. <laughs> yes, and the <laughs> really. <laughs> yes, we have the same class. <laughs> yes. Your classmate. Mm -hmm. Oh, Anna. Hey, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's but crazy, you don't uh, hear uh, the other people, right? Yes, I I hear all that the all the people uh, insult to the to the league because they are angry. Really, they are so angry, right? And yes, it's like a hinder. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Okay, I have a uh, the classmate in. Inglés Corporativo en UTEC University right now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, it's incredible, right? Yes, the world is little. You never imagine. And so that means in the university, you never talk to each other. Mm, sometimes, but uh, we are, I if I'm not bad, we are a, a 86 people in the meeting. We are a lot of people. Yes, it's not like in this group. In this group, it's only like 10, 15 people normally. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Christian is, is here. Yes, but Christian only listening also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, we have more oyentes today than students. I'm looking at only the listeners. We only have three students today. But it's okay. We're gonna try to do it together. Um, let's see and what we're going to learn today. Today we're gonna take a look at past models. If we remember yesterday, models are words that help us describe opinion, suggestions, obligations, or recommendations, like the word must, can, could, should. These are some of the models. To use them in the past we have to use the word have, okay? We use must have, could have, should have, and this change from the present and change and put into the past tense. We're going to watch a video again to help us remember and make sure that we are clear how we can use it and why we use it. Remember for statements, we must use are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle 
to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember, for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember, you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Number one. Your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. Number two. You saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Okay. Let's take a look at both situations. What would you do in those situations or what would you recommend? This is where we complete the sentence with would have, should have, could have, might have, all of those different models. So in number one, what do you think? Teacher, I'm not sure, can you give an example, number one? Yes, that's what we are trying to do together, don't worry. Uh, if you don't have, listen to your partners. Anybody else? So last week, your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled coffee all of it. What would you do? There are only three people in class. Remember, only Byron, Carla, I think, and Rudy. No, to be honest, I, I don't have the example. I don't understand right now. Okay, Byron. Thank you, teacher. Okay, do you understand what you are reading? Let's begin with that. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, Rudy, the it. ¿Qué entendés que estás leyendo? ¿Qué dice? Eh, tu profesor... Eh, I, I, I'm not sure the meaning of borrowed, but tu profesor ha traído tu libro favorito. Derramó. Y derra, derramó ah, sí, sí. Eh, café sobre él. Exacto. O sea, prestó. Borrowed es prestó. Oh, prestó. Uh -huh. There you go. Good. Ok. So, ¿qué hicieron? Maybe I should clean the, the coffee that my teacher uh, spilled in, okay. in my book. Okay, good idea, good idea. Now, this is from yesterday's grammar. This is in the moment, but what happened if this was last week? If this was last week- Oh, I understand. We would use Maybe. the word, have i um i'm not sure but it could be i have i have to clean my uh, book because no. my no no you are going to use the model the model i would i could i might i should and then the word have so for example me your teacher borrowed your favorite book and spilled all, coffee all over it. I would have asked the teacher to buy me a new book. Oh, 
all of that. I understand. Okay. And the others, do you understand? No, teacher. Okay. Kyla? No. Me no, sir. Okay, okay. ¿Cuál parte no entendiste, Carla? Don't worry. Eh, ¿Cómo utilizar... Eh... I don't know. It's difficult for me. Okay, no problem. Pero ¿cuál parte es difícil? ¿Lo que estás leyendo o cómo completarlo? ¿Cómo completarlo? Ok, perfecto. Ok, vamos a retroceder. Here. ¿Cómo lo vas a completar, Carla? Uh -huh. ¿Qué dice? Will have. Exacto. Uh, más pas, pas, por. Uh -huh. O puedes usar. Ok, on should have. Exactly, exactly. Is like this. Okay. It is your opinion or recommendation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let's try over here. Always we can use would, should, or any, but in the past is obligation have. Let's take a look at a few more. Let's try one more. Rudy, complete number one. Tell me. Okay, maybe Rudy. I'm not sure is the same example as you did, but I have a new one. Okay. I will I will have told the teacher to clean the, the book. This is the correct grammar. Exactly. It's only your opinion of what you would do in the past. If this happened to you, what would you do? Carla, do you want to try to complete it? Number one or number two? Number one. Try to complete number one. Let's see if you have the idea. Maybe should have um, both new book. Okay, who? Who has the, to buy the book? The teacher. Exactly. Now make the sentence, Carla. Um, good. Have the teacher. No, no. Begin. The teacher. The teacher good. Good have. No, no, no. I don't know. No. Ya le estás cambiando. Lo tenía correcto. Y empezaste a cambiar todas las palabras. Exactamente, exactamente lo que dijiste y ponerle teacher al principio. Go ahead, teacher Carla. good have, no. I don't know. Okay. The word, no. The teacher. The teacher should have. Exactly, exactly. The teacher should have. To have uh, the teacher to have about um, the new book. Exactly, Carla. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora, okay. Can, I, can I give an example? Okay. One moment. One moment. Let me see. Okay. Carla, traducime lo que dijiste. Eh, que el profesor. Eh, ¿Podría comprar un nuevo libro? No. No. ¿Podría? Debería. Ajá. ¿Debería qué? Comprar un nuevo, un nuevo libro. No. Debería comprar es en presente. Tú no estás hablando en presente. Esto pasó la semana pasada. Debería. Por eso debería comprar. Debería es en el presente, Carla. Haber comprado. Exacto. Ah, ajá, debería ajá. haber comprado. Ajá, Por eso usamos el have. 
El half uh -huh. es el tiempo. Half es tiempo. ¿Qué significa half? Tiempo. ¿Cuál tiempo? El pasado. A ver, te chao, chao. Ajá. Chao, how. Ajá. Ok, now listen to Byron. Listen to Byron's example. Try, Byron. Ok, uh, all the sentence, right? With yes, please. Plus my idea, right? Yes. Ok, your teacher borrowed your favorite book and split it coffee, coffee all over it. And the teacher should have thrown uh, the book to the garbage, for example. Ok, traducime lo que estás diciendo. Eh, el teacher de la mo ah, no, el teacher eh, prestó tu libro favorito, te prestó tu libro favorito y de la mo café sobre él. Uh -huh. eh, y él debería eh, tirarlo a la basura. Ah. Haberlo tirado a la basura, perdón. Ok, eso no lo que dijiste. Brought no es tirar. <ríe> Dije throw. Throw. Ah, he should have. Muy bien, buena idea. Solo la yes, gramática no. He I... should have thrown. He should have thrown. Why? Ah, yes, because Always it's impossible, has... right? Exactly. Thrown. Exactly. Yes. He should have thrown. Yes, because throw, throw is, is impressive. present. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I Teacher, have. entonces, ghoul es podría. S eh. O sea, para traducir es hacer una oración. O sea, Chules debería haber. Ok. ¿O no? Should. Should have. Es tu Debería opinión. haber. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y entonces, would? Hubiera. Ah, oh, ok. Por eso cambia la persona. Mm -hmm. Would va a decir, yo hubiera. I would I que hubiera um, ah I would have I um, would have eh. y yo ah. debería lo que alguien eh, más debería hacer ¿eh? porque eso um, es, es tu um, opinión aquí um, es la diferencia um, would is um, opinion uh -huh. should um, is suggestion um, la opinión yo yo hubiera y que yo hubiera matado yo lo hubiera cobrado yo lo hubiera ese es el word mm -hmm. debería es sure tú él debería pagarlo he should have paid for it él debería reponerlo he should have uh, exchanged it así mm -hmm. okay. okay let's try mm -hmm. number two let's try number two try to complete it Okay, you saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hubieran hecho? I should, I should have told the teacher. Okay, I should have told the teacher. That my classmate is cheating on an exam. Okay, ¿qué, qué me estás diciendo? Eh, Le hubiera dicho al profesor que mi compañero está copiando el exam. Eso no es lo que me dijiste. ¿Cuál no. palabra es hubiera? Ah. Hubiera, creo que es I go, I go. I go. I go. Exacto. Uh -huh. Good. I will have. I would have told the teacher. Exactly. I will have told. Uh -huh. Porque eso es lo que tú hicieras. Tú I would. Hubiera, right? I would. Y should es sugerir. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Good. Carla, do you want to try? I I have seen the same um, example, but I I don't think. Okay, ahora cambia la opinión entonces. ¿Qué crees que el maestro, el profesor debería de haber hecho? Um, maybe. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say castigo? Punishment. Punishment. Um, 
um, maybe um, the teacher um, should have uh, punishment the classmate. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. ¿Qué, ten, ¿Qué te hizo falta? Why, teacher? Ah, the past participle. Past participle. Mm -hmm. uh, Try again, Carla. The teacher. The teacher. The teacher should have. The teacher should have. Ay. La misma palabra, pero en acción. I, I, I don't know. Past participle. Ok, te voy a enseñar. Cuando tenés okay. la palabra, le pones ed y se hace verbo. Entonces, no va a ser punishment. Punish. 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 Ah, punish. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. The teacher should have punished uh -huh. the classmate. Exactly. That's it. Ok. The same. Ok. okay. Byron, ¿qué crees que el alumno que estaba haciendo la trampa hubiera, hubiera hecho o debería haber hecho uh, maybe <laughs> eh, you saw the classmate cheating on the exam eh, I should I should have asked for the copy asked okay. for the copy <laughs> ¿Qué es lo que dijiste? ¿Qué traduciste? Si yo hubiera visto a mi compañero copiando en el examen, uh -huh. eh, no, sería I will have right? uh -huh. I will have ask ask in, in past participle, right? Yes. Eh, the copy of the exam. Ok, ¿qué dijiste? Eh, yo hubiera eh, pedido la copia del examen. Exactly. Ok. Very good. That This is, is the good grammar. Right. This is the correct grammar. Exactly. Ok. Ok. It's ok? Yes, okay. teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No, it's yes, it's a little confused. I yes. think that maybe the problem is we, we have some problems with the past participle, right? With with the yes. verb in past participle. Uh, because we try with the should or will have, we got it, right? Exactly. But the problem is with the with the verb. Mm -hmm. But it's only that's why it's the last topic, because it's difficult and you need to understand the other topics first in order to practice, okay? But now we have the idea, yes? Yes, you should. Okay. Thanks. No problem. In this moment, we are going to practice more, okay? Let me see cuántos oyentes teníamos. Tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis oyentes hoy, okay. Déjame contar mejor cuántos no están oyentes. One, two, three. Only four. three, maybe. I think. Jose Omar, can you can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jose Omar. Yes. I can't. Good. Carla, yes. yes. Good. Byron? Yes. But yes. Ruli? Yes. Yes. Harrison? Yes. Yes, okay. There we go. So we have five people. Okay, vamos a hacer dos grupos. That way we can practice. And we're going to practice this. Remember, the important is past participle. Si no se lo pueden, les sugiero que vayan estudiando past participle. Los van a ir necesitando. Okay? So we have three links. Link number one and number two is to help you. Number one and number two is, son los fáciles. Eso es para que agarren la idea. Solo es de elección. Only multiple choice. Multiple choice. But link number three, ahí sí. There you have to write the answer. So number one and number two, no problem. Number three and number four, you have to remember and write the correct answer.
It's okay. Okay. Did you open the three links? Yes. Kyla? Yep. Yes, you. Good. Good. Uh, Harrison? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's try. We have, uh, we're going to take 15 minutes to help make sure that we understand the three links with our partners. Okay, teacher. Okay. Harrison, Sullivan, Christian, don't worry. I'm going to go to the groups. You can stay here. Oh, the teacher is here. Teacher. The option of share the screen is not available right yeah. now. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, teacher. Déjame refrescarlo. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thank you, no, teacher. No Rudy, oh. Rudy is the same in Rudy. the in the in the WhatsApp. Ah, yes, teacher. Rudy is asking the same question. Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I told Rudy. Thank you. Okay, bye. No problem. Bye. If you ask me, if you would have, is you had. Is it to me over Rudy, if, can you check if, if you can share, please? Okay, give me one second. Okay, now it's able. Thank you. Okay, perfect, perfect, Rudy. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Rudy, did you understand? Uh, at this moment, yes. Okay, Jose, Omar, did you understand? Yes, sure, teacher. Okay, then you try together. If you have questions, I will try to be here and in the... Okay, perfect. The second Omar, we will have got lost. We will have, or we have got, we will have maybe. What? Lost. We will have got lost. We will, we have got lost. Yes, I we think that is, we will have. We will have, uh huh. Okay, if we had had a map, we would have. If we had gone how? I think that this wouldn't have. Wouldn't have, uh, maybe. Ok, los voy a parar allí. All right. ¿Qué aprendimos ayer con la palabra if? Oh, yes. If is, if if is, if, sorry. Mm -hmm. We need to put the verb in past, right? Ok, so check number one and check number two. Yes, you have, yes. Yes, we are wrong. Uh, yeah. Yes, I forget this information. The, the, first, the first one, too. This one. Yes. Yes. Because the, the, the uh, sentence starts with if. Uh -huh. If you okay. had us me, uh -huh. I would want to know. Uh -huh. If we will have uh -huh. Okay, okay uh -huh. open this. Option. If you, if have, you have, have. Stop, stop. If Okay, revisen las dos 
¿Qué acabamos de decir? If is... If is if is the very past. Okay. Ok. And the other is... Is the same, the right? Is the same. Remember. Oh, if... ah, no. The first... Mm -hmm. The first one ah, is the, the number first. two is will have. Yes. We okay. will have. We will it have lost. not lost. And then it, and there is the past. Remember. Okay, remember the grammar from yesterday. If the verb in past, if the mm. verb in past. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay. okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you have uh, some. The same. The total point, the total point is 30, 33%. I think well, every, we, everything we have, is okay. We have 33 in the first item. Let's try with the other link. Yeah, the second one. Is affirmative sentence. Do you see? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. If the weather, uh, if the weather has been better, we will have I don't know what is the pronunciation. Some in this year. Swam. Ah, swam. Swam. Okay. The weather has been. This is the past better. Paris of a swim. Swim. Right. Swim. Swam is the past Paris of a swim. Come on, Naran. Yeah, yeah. It's the past Paris. Mm -hmm. We and uh, we have been station. at the station. Uh, we you had sent us a message. No, give me a second. We will have been if you have sent, yeah, yes, yes. The third one, we they will have they, uh -huh. they if the shops the shops had been open. Yeah, they would have bought a hat. If my dad had had, hmm? I think would have would have had would time. Have had, if my dad would have had time, mm -hmm. he would have he has played, played with me. He has played with me. Um. He has played. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> if my dad had had time, I think this is the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is uh -huh. this correct? In yes. Sentence, yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. If my dad had had time. Uh -huh. He would have played. Uh -huh. Como hubiera jugado conmigo. Had had. Mm -hmm. If you could have watched the film, if you if had you... watched the film, you would have enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the last one, I will have traveled to London. I had traveled. I had traveled. No. No, I, I had traveled, traveled to London. Uh -huh, if to I London. would have left, oh, it's correct. Yeah, the teacher is here. Teacher, can you clear me some the the question, four. please? I have a question with the number four sentence. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, the translate for this sentence is "Si mi papá hubiera tenido," right? Yes. We can use "had had" in the same sentence. Yes. Really? My my dad had had time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really, it's the, correct I, grammar. It's the first time that I check this, this, oh, both uh, words in the same sentence, to be honest. Yes, remember, but we can use. Remember, one is the time. Okay. And the other is the action. Okay. 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 It's, not, it's not the same verb. One is time, one and is action. Is action. 
Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yes, because si, si mi papá hubiera, hubiera is the fear had, right? Uh -huh. Y tenido es the other. The other. Ah, right? Hubiera uh -huh. que, hubiera, and then tenido, the action. Uh -huh. And then the action time, right? The, uh -huh. the, oh, okay. Thanks, teacher. Uh -huh. You're welcome. If you had if washed, you had, um, washed the film, the film you will have you enjoyed will it. Have enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will have traveled to yes. London. If I have learned, okay, English. shit. Okay. Uh, well, okay, we can try with the other link. Yes. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay, this you need to uh, write if the, the uh, okay. Oh okay. if he <laughs> uh, if the, if, if, oh. Uh, remember if it start with he if with the, if is the very in past. Yeah. And the option is have or will have. You need to put there if, have. The, if he had if he all, had if he had yeah. Or no, but we need to uh, put the verb or, or something like that, teacher, or only the the. That's it. Op oh, okay. Uh, if, if, yeah, yeah, if he if had he told had me, or will have. I will have. Uh -huh. I will if, have a gun. If he yes, had told there. me, uh huh, I will have. I will have. Yes. I will have. Gone. Yeah, gone. Okay. If we. Taking the bus. Remember, Carla, that you only need put there the option that is in the in the top of the exercise. Had or will have? Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. If we had, yeah. Yes, because we the we'll sentence have. start with if. Yes. Yeah, we have. We have. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not in. I think this is not in. Uh, not in negative force. I think it's is is in positive force. Mm, yeah, because in this. I one, would have. I would have bought a shirt then, if you had lent me the money. O sea, como yo hubiera comprado la camisa si tú me hubieras prestado el dinero. Es, I would yeah. have bought a shirt if you had lent me the money. Yeah, me the money. Right. right. Yes. In uh, the last one. I wouldn't have seen you if I if I had me if I had if I had my glasses it's like I wouldn't have seen you. Let's yes? check. Okay. <gasps> too bad, too bad. 
<laughs> if he had told me, I would, I would have gone. Maybe it is a negative. Just no, it is you no, know, no. The first one is positive form because. Yeah, it's positive. If, we have. If he had told me, negative. if he had told me, I would have. I would have. Okay. I have wouldn't have the the first okay. item. Okay. Okay. Se acuerdan la regla de gramática de ayer? ¿Qué usamos con if? Es past participle. The verb in simple past. The verb is in simple past. Exacto, exacto. Y ahí, en la, en la número dos, look. If we had taken, si hubiéramos tomado el book, exactly. if we have, if, if we have taken. Uh -huh. always, no, but it's in past. Have. Exactly. The verb in past. The verb in past with if. Okay. 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 How do you feel? A little bit better? More practice? A little bit clearer? It was good, the practice. Okay. I'm happy that it helps you. Remember the grammar. If the verb in? In past, teacher. In past. The second part is the model. If one part if, the other part the model. Would, could, should, the different. But if the verb in past. Teacher, when we have had had in a sentence, it makes me uh, a little bit confused. Okay, Rudy, had. no problem. Really, had is the time. The first had. The second is the activity. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you're going to use had, hubiera what? And then, ah, the second is that action. In English, hubiera is had. Uh, tenido is had. So, hubiera tenido. That's why is had had. Thank you. You're welcome. Remember that in English, is not the verb that gives the time. It's the auxiliary. Is, are, was, were, have. This gives us the time. That's why it's necessary in many situations to use the auxiliary. Let's try to do the exercise together. Okay. 5.9. Here in our knowledge check, 5.9. Let's try. Rudy, do you want to try number one? The first one, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? Mm -hmm. Okay. Carla, letter B. The show, um, uh, maybe... You should uh, say N letter number three. Number three, maybe. Okay, okay. Por qué maybe, Carla? Por qué no te oigo segura? I don't know. Okay. ¿Cuál es la gra gramática? ¿Qué dice la gramática con la palabra have? I don't know. Teacher. No, maybe no. You should say. It. <laughs> We use the word in past participle. So I think yeah. it is right. Always, always have always, the always. verb in past participle. Excellent. Have the verb in past participle. Past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Omar. Um, you shouldn't have uh, taken the money. Okay. Good. Herson. Okay. 
time. Dale, Jorge. Time. Go. Don't, uh, como que, yes. Okay, it's good. Ahora, lee la pregunta, Gerson. Go. I, toda la acción. Dale. I, 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 ignore. Ignore. Uh, mm -hmm. Ignore. Uh, an, an email from some I don't, don't like. What, what you, how? Done. Done. Good, Harrison. Done. Good. Done. Pronunciation, but good. Thank you, Harrison. Done. Byron. Yes. Byron? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, Biden. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, my microphone was up. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay. I mean, I think that is the first option. Okay. Read the sentence, Biden. <laughs> I will have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Okay, good. Only the pronunciation. Byron? Replied. Uh-huh. Vos pronunciaste esta. Reply. Re yes, it's replied, right? Correct. Correct, Byron. Sir. Replied. No, no, it's good. That's why we practice. That's why yes, we to be fa to be faster, maybe I yes. don't I don't make a good pronunciation, sorry. No, no, it's okay, Byron. Good. Rudy. You should have taken the call. No, no. This one, this one, Rudy. Oh, the third one. Mm -hmm. Um I was watching a good movie when the phone rang. What should I have done? Sorry have done my apologies okay thank you good and, and check and check mm -hmm. taken too <laughs> uh -huh, yes you should have taken the call oh okay and should have taken okay do the two good good really okay Carl carla told the person you call later okay good uh number four omar Um, we left we left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have? What would you have done? Okay. And the first one, I think. Cool. Okay. And the last one, Harrison. Uh, I would how take the white me my aunt. Uh, toast it a while later. This one, Harrison. Toast. La la dos or. Uh, la dos sería. La dos esta. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good job. Let's take a look. We have a little mistake, but it's not bad. Here, let's take a look. We can see number one, very good. The two, correct, the past participle, okay? We can see number two and the letter B, correct, the past participle. Here, correct. Again, very good, correct. Here, correct, but the last one, not correct. El, the past participle of throw, the last, the past participle of throw is thrown. Teacher, what's the meaning of throw? Good. Throw is like the baseball. 
the baseball you throw. Like tirar. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, any questions? For me, no teacher, thank you. Okay, okay, good. Let's take a look then, let's check. Here we have, ah, now we have a reading. Great, we are going to read. I don't think we have time to answer, but we have time to read today. So we are going to each read a paragraph. We have many paragraphs. This is Ask Amy. Who is going to read the first paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay. Carla, ¿lo puede ver o lo hago más grande? No, teacher. It's good. Okay. All right, Carla, please read. Dear Amy, someone told me that my brother girlfriend, my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I feel I should let my brother know. And after I did, he decided to confront her with the story. They had a terrible argument and although she denied the rumor, they broke up. Now it turns out that the rumor wasn't true and brother isn't speaking to me. Good. Any vocabulary you don't know? Um, maybe teacher for me. Mm -hmm. uh, also. Although. Um, although. Sorry, although. Although she denied it. Although mm -hmm. is aunque. Oh, okay. And she denied the negar or algo así. Exactly. Maybe. Very good. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Who's going to read the next one? Next for the next one, uh, next to the tired mom or Amy? That next one, dear, here, okay. uh, you're making yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dear, you're making it too easy for him to stay where he is. Be fair and tell him he was, he has two months to find a job and get his own place. He's old enough to take care of himself, but you have to be willing to let him go. Great, any vocabulary? I'm not sure of willing, but I think it's estará. No, it's, no. it's not exactly estará, but uh, dispuesto. Dispuesto, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. The next one, dear Amy. Me, if you want. Okay, Byron. Okay. Dear Amy, my son is 23 years old. He finished college last year, but he can't seem to find a job. Be like, be like, sorry. He is still lives at home. And I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and support himself. himself. Uh, can you move the... <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, I, I've been cooking his meals and doing his laundry. Okay. Any vocabulary you don't know? Uh, maybe... T-shirt and now is like uh sin embargo. Mm, and now oh, no. no. What is the meaning of meanwhile? Okay, so let's start with one. First, the uh, he still lives in home. And looking for a now. And now. Uh, and now. In, no, uh, and now he, he's intentando, right? Or no? And now, y ahora. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Oh. But I don't see where is and and now. Is is next to he not trying hard enough? Okay, uh, he's trying hard enough to get a job and support himself. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. No lo veo. Ok, I'm, I'm blind. Eh, is is next to is next to okay you finish the first part uh, with the first uh, that and okay. start with he is still live at home okay up, uh, there right uh -huh. he is still uh, live at home and and I'm worried that he's not trying hard and no to get a job oh hard enough. okay I got you okay hard enough. okay yes hard enough is Okay, he's not trying suficientemente. Hard enough, suficientemente duro. He's not trying, pero hard is duro enough suficiente. But hard enough, juntos is suficientemente. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And meanwhile? Meanwhile, mientras. Mientras, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. That's all, I think. Okay. Okay, perfect. We're going to stop there. Don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to continue and read, and we're going to look for the vocabulary and try to get the meaning from the context. And tomorrow we begin the exam. So read. Finish the reading and begin the exam, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow. You too. Bye. Bye. Take care. Take care.